Guru Mani Madaji, you have anything? Now okay? Now it's okay. Okay, great, great. So we we should begin Archana? Uh yes, Gomash. Can. Om Ajnana Timarandasya Jananjana Shalakaya Chaksur Militanya Na Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pistaya Bhutale Shemati Bhakti Vedanta Swaminiti Namane Namaste Sarasati Devi Khoravani Precharine Nirvisesha Shunyavadi Paschachade Shatarine Vanchakaupa Tarubhyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhayevacha Patita Nam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasade Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So we're reading the Krishna book. Uh, Guru Maharaj, huh? I, I choose to mute all. So can you unmute yourself? Okay. <laughs> so everyone will be mute. Okay. Yes. Uh, also, Gora, Guru Mani Mataji, can you unmute yourself? Yes, thank you. All right, so we're reading the Krishna book. And we're on chapter number 56, the story of the Shaimantaka jewel. So we heard how the brother of Satrajit took the jewel and went riding on a horse into the forest. But then he was killed by a lion and the lion took away the jewel. And then Jambavan came and killed the lion and took the jewel from the lion. So Satrajit, he spread the rumor that Lord Krishna had actually stolen the jewel. So Krishna had to go and find the jewel to prove that he didn't steal it. <coughs> so he went to the he went to the forest and he found the cave where Jambaban lived and he went into the cave and he saw the jewel was there with Jambavan. Jambavan did not recognize Krishna and at first he thought he was some and some thief who'd come to steal the jewel. 
แล้วก็สัมบวานเนี่ยก็มาจำกริชนาไม่ได้แล้วก็คิดว่าอ๋อจะมีพวกขโมยเนี่ยเออเอาเอามาจะมาเอาอัญมณีไป So they had a big fight for many many days. เลยมีการทะเลาะกันเป็นมีการต่อสู้กันหลายต่อหลายวัน And then j a m b a v a n finally understood that this person he was fighting was so strong that he could only be the same person he knew as Lord Ramachandra. j a m b a v a n was actually the strongest person on the planet. j a m b a v a n เนี่ยเป็นความจริงเนี่ยเป็นบุคคลที่มีพลังในการต่อสู้เนี่ยมากที่สุดในโลก But he couldn't defeat Krishna. So then he understood that Lord Krishna must be non-different from Lord Ramachandra. And Jamba Jamba Ban had been serving Lord Ramachandra when Lord Ramachandra fought. Against Ravan at the Battle of Lanka. So j a m b a v a n offered prayers to Lord Krishna. And in his prayers, he apologized. He understood that he made a great mistake. But actually, Lord Krishna is his worshipable master. So Lord Krishna was pleased with the prayers of j a m b a v a n And to, because they've been fighting for a long time, Krishna had been hitting j a m b a v a n j a m b a v a n s body was very painful. So Krishna tried. Krishna began to stroke his body to take away the pain. แต่ว่าพอพอกริชนาลูกไหลเขาเนี่ยทำให้ความเจ็บปวดนั้นเนี่ยมันก็หายไปโดยทันที And as soon as Krishna did this, then j a m b a v a n didn't feel any pain anymore. หลังจากที่กริชนาสัมผัสท่านเนี่ยทำให้จัมบาวานเนี่ยไม่รู้สึกถึงความเจ็บปวดหรือว่าเมื่อยล้าแต่อย่างไร And then Lord Krishna began to speak to j a m b a v a n and he called j a m b a v a n He said. He addressed Jambavan as King Jambavan. Some people may think the lion is the king of the forest or the jungle, but actually Jambavan is the king, not the lion. หรือว่าเป็นกษัตริย์ของในป่าแต่ความจริงไม่ใช่ความจริงคือจัมบาวาจัมบาวาน had killed killed the lion with his bare hands he didn't need any weapon แต่ว่าจัมบาวาเนี่ยสามสามารถปราบศัตรูได้ด้วยมือเปล่าเท่านั้นโดยไม่ต้องใช้อาวุธ so then Krishna told j a m b a v a n that he had come to ask for the Shamantaka jewel Krishna told to Jambavan. He said, "Ever since the jewel has been stolen, Krishna has been given a bad name, and the people were blaming Krishna for stealing the jewel." แล้วก็ Krishna ก็บอกว่าตั้งแต่อัญมณีนี้หายไปเนี่ยทุกคนเนี่ยก็คิดว่า Uh, ก็มาใส่ร้ายกฤษณาหาว่ากฤษณาเนี่ยเป็นคนเอาไปก็เล
So Krishna told Jambavan he'd come to get the jewel back in order to clear his name. So when Jambavan heard this, Jambavan understood and he immediately agreed to give back the jewel. And he not only gave the jewel, but he also gave his own daughter named Jambavati. She was just at the age for marriage and Jambavan was pleased to present her to Lord Krishna. So this, so the giving Krishna the jewel, the Shaimantaka jewel, and then also giving him Jambavati for a wife, that was all done inside the mountain cave. So Krishna had been fighting with Jambavan for 28 days and the people had come with, from, with him from Dwarka. They waited for him outside the cave but they only waited 12 days. So after 12 days they decided that something must have happened to Krishna. But they felt very tired and they were very sorry, so they just decided to go back to the city of Dwarka. So in Dwarka, all of Krishna's family, Krishna's mother Devaki and his father Vasudev, as well as his wife Rukmini, and other friends and relatives, they were all worried about Krishna. So when all, when all these people from Dwarka came back from the forest, they'd gone there with Krishna and they came back without Krishna, the people in Dwarka, Krishna's family, were very worried, very sorry. So all these, all the family of Krishna, they began to criticize Satrajit, and they called Satrajit ill names. Mm. And they said Satrajit must be the cause of Krishna's disappearance. And then they all went to worship a demigoddess. The demigoddess was called Chandra Bama, Banga, Baga, Chandra Baga. And they prayed to this goddess that Krishna would come back. So this demigoddess, she was satisfied with the prayers of the people of Dwarka. And when they all prayed to her for Krishna to come back, she immediately arranged and Krishna came back. And 
Krishna. Krishna came. And he came along with his new wife, Jambavati. And all the people of Dwarka and the relatives of Krishna, they were all very happy. So I said the people of Dwarka were also very happy. Just like someone who's lost a relative and then the relative comes back from death. So the people of Dwarka would like that. They thought Krishna must have been put into great difficulty because he'd gone fighting with Jambavan. So they, they actually, the people of Dwarka actually thought there's no hope. Krishna will never come back. Krishna must have been killed. He will never come back now. But then they saw Krishna had come back. And he was not alone, but he had a new wife. So they were so happy, they immediately had a nice festival, a ceremony to celebrate. And King Ugrasen, Ugrasena, he was the king of the of the whole of the whole place. <coughs> he was the, the king. He sat on the throne, mm -hmm. of, of the king of all the yadus. He called for a meeting of all the important kings. And they also invited Satrajit to come to the meeting. And at the meeting, Krishna told everyone about what had happened to him and how he was able to recover the jewel. And so that jewel is very powerful, very important for everyone because it could produce gold every day. So Krishna wanted to return the valuable jewel to King Satrajit. But Satrajit was, he felt very ashamed that he tried to give Krishna a bad name. He was blaming Krishna for stealing the jewel. But Krishna was giving the jewel back to him. Krishna told him what had happened. So Satrajit felt very ashamed. Anyways, Satrajit accept he accepted the jewel and but he stayed silent. He didn't say anything. He just bent his head down and took the jewel without saying anything. So then he went home with the jewel. He went home. So then he when he was at home he thought about how he could get a bet how he could improve his image because he's got a bad name now. So Satrajit 
understood he'd done, he'd done bad things by criticizing and accusing Lord Krishna of stealing the jewel. So Satrajit thought he, what he needed to do in order uh, that Krishna would be pleased with him. Satrajit knew he'd been foolish, that he'd made a big mistake attached to something material. Hare Krishna, can you hear me? Hare Krishna? Archana? Archana, we got disconnected. Yeah, we got disconnected. you are mute. I got disconnected. Okay. Oh, it's me or it's you? I think it's the internet connection here. Oh. So I have to go back. Yeah. Uh, foolish. Yeah. We we reach where you said that he was worried because of his foolishness. Something like that. Yes, right. Uh, Satrajit understood he done very stupid things. Because he was blaming Krishna for taking the jewel. So, and he wanted to correct himself. So Krish, Krishna helped him because Krishna's in So Satrajit decided that he was his own daughter, a very beautiful daughter called Satyabhama. So Sat Satrajit arranged the marriage for, for, for Krishna with his daughter. And Satyabhama was so beautiful and qualified that Satrajit had been asked by many princes for to get to, to the, who wanted to marry her, but he would not give his daughter to them. Satrajit was waiting to get a suitable husband for his daughter. So by the grace of Krishna, he decided that he would give his daughter to Krishna. So Lord Krishna was pleased with Satrajit and told him that he didn't have to give the jewel to him. Krishna said, I don't want the jewel, you keep it. And Krishna told Satrajit, it's better if you just let the jewel stay in the temple. Yeah. If you keep the jewel in the temple, then all of us will benefit from it. 
เกิดว่าท่านเนี่ยเก็บทองเนี่ยเก็บอัญมณีนี้เนี่ยไว้ที่วัดเนี่ยมันจะเป็นประโยชน์ให้กับทุกคน And just by having the jewel in the city of Dwarka, it will help Dwarka. It will make life in Dwarka better. We won't have any more famine. We won't have any disturbance. There won't be any problems with disease. มันจะทำให้สถานที่เจริญขึ้นไม่มีใครมีโรคภัยไข้เจ็บอะไรมันจะดีมาก And we won't it won't get too hot or too cold either แล้วมันจะไม่ร้อนมากเกินไปมันจะไม่หนาวมากเกินไป So that's all the mercy of the shaman t a k a j o อันนั้นเป็นเมตพระเมตตาของอัญมณี It creates a nice auspicious situation for everyone. Okay, so that's the end of that chapter 56, the story of the s h a i m a n t a k a j o Now we'll go on to chapter 57, Satrajit and s h a t a d a n v a slain. อันนี้ก็จบลงในบทที่ห้าสิบหกชื่อเรื่องว่าอัญมณีสานันทักษ์แล้วต่อไปเราก็จะไปในบทที่ห้าสิบเจ็ดชื่อบทว่าสังหารสัตรจิตและชาตาดันบอก All right so the chapter begins that after Akru visited Hastinapur and told everything about the Pandavas to Lord Krishna Then there were mo- there was some development. There were more developments. หลังจากอากูระไปเยือนฮัสตินาปูดและรายงานสถานการณ์ของพันดาวะแดกริชนาเนี่ยสถานการณ์ก็พัฒนาขึ้น One of the things which happened was the Pandavas were sent to live in a house which was made of lac. สถานการณ์ที่เกิดขึ้นเนี่ยพันพันดาวะเนี่ยถูกย้ายให้ไปอยู่ในบ้านที่ทำด้วยเชลล์แลก And while while the Pandavas were living in that house, the whole house got set on fire. แล้วก็แล้วก็ถูกวางเพลิงแล้วก็ตอนที่พันดาวะเนี่ยย้ายไปอยู่ที่นั่นเนี่ยทั้งบ้านเนี่ยถูกเผา And they thought everyone within the house, all the Pandavas along with their mother Kunti, had been burned to death. แล้วเขาก็คิดว่าทุกคนทั้งพันดาวาแล้วก็รวมทั้งคุณแม่คุณชีด้วยเนี่ยทุกคนเนี่ยถูกฆ่าตายแล้ว So when that happened, news came to Krishna and Balaram who were in Dwarka. และเมื่อสิ่งนั้นเกิดขึ้นเนี่ยข่าวนั้นเนี่ยก็ได้ส่งมาให้ Krishna กับ Balaram ที่ Dwarka. So they, Krishna and Balaram, they decided they would come to Hastinapur to show sympathy for their dead relatives. หลังจากปรึกษาหารือกันแล้วเนี่ยพระองค์ก็ส่งกิชาวารามก็ทรงตัดสินใจที่จะไปที่ฮัสตินาปูลเพื่อแสดงความเสียใจต่อบรรดาญาติ No Krishna and Balaram know everything and they knew it. the Pandavas could not have been killed in the fire แน่นอนว่ากิชากับบาราเนี่ยทรงทราบดีอยู่แล้วเพราะพระองค์เนี่ยทรงรู้ทุกสิ่งทุกอย่างอยู่แล้วพระองค์ก็ทรงทราบดีว่าพวกพันดาวายังไม่ได้ถูกสังหาร So, Krishna and Balaram and the Pandavas, there's no way they could ever been killed in the fire. But so, but Krishna wanted to go there just to take part in the mourning. So when Krishna arrived in Hastinapur, Krishna and Balaram first went to see Bhishma Dev. When Krishna and Balaram came to Hastinapur, the first thing they did was to see Bhishma Dev. Bhishma Dev was the chief of all the Kurus. Bhishma Dev was the chief of all the Kurus. And then, they, then, then they, then Krishna and Bhishma Dev, 
Then they saw Kripacharya and Vidura, Gandhari and Drona. So it mentions that other people in the Kuru dynasty, they didn't have any sympathy for the Pandavas because they wanted the Pandavas and their mother to be killed. But some of the family, because some of the family was like Bhishma, they were very sorry about it and they didn't, they were, they felt very sorry that Krishna and Balaram also, and Krishna and Balaram also felt sorry about the situation because it was reported that everybody had been burned to death. So later, Krishna and Balaram had gone away from the city of Dwarka. And at that time, some people made a plan to steal the Shaimantaka jewel from him. So the, the person who wanted to steal the jewel more than anybody, the person who was most active in planning to steal the jewel was Shatta Danva. So this Shatta Danva, he was jealous because he also wanted to marry Satya Bama. And Satrajit had promised him that he would give his beautiful daughter in charity if the person is qualified. So later it happened that uh, he changed the decision and he decided that Satyabhama should be given to Krishna along with the Shamantaka jewel. But Satrajit actually didn't want to give the jewel away with the, his daughter. So that's why Krishna accepted his daughter but gave him back the jewel because he saw that Satrajit actually he wants to keep the jewel. So he, he took his daughter, Satyabhama, but he gave him back the jewel. He said, you keep the jewel. So when he got the jewel back, then he was very happy and he kept it with him all the time. But Krishna, Krishna uh, Krishna uh, Krishna in the absent when Krishna and Balaram were not there then there was a conspiracy by many men about the jewel. The, 
the people like Akrura and Kritavarma were actually devotees of Krishna, but they planned to take the jewel away from Satrajit. So it said Akrura and Kritavarma, they actually planned to get the jewel because they wanted it. They wanted to, to take the jewel from Krishna. Or they wanted to take the jewel. They wanted the jewel. And, and uh, they wanted to give it to Krishna. So they knew that Krishna wanted the jewel and they knew that Satrajit had not given it to him properly. And other people helped them in trying to steal the jewel because there were other people who were unhappy. They had wanted to marry Satyapama but they had not been successful. And it's even said that they they told such they told uh, Shatta Danva that he should kill Satrajit and take away the jewel. So we, may, we, we will wonder how is it possible that a devotee, a pure devotee like Akrura could get involved in this? And also Kritavarma. Kritavarma is also a devotee. So why did he get involved? So it's explained by Jiva Goswami and other Acharyas. That... Go ahead. Yes. Explain to us that although Akrura was a great devotee, he got cursed by the people from Vrindavan because he was taking Krishna away from them. So Akrura was, he was wounded also, he was cut and his, his face was hit, he suffered a lot. So Kritavarna was a devotee, but because he had associated Closely with Kamsa, he was contaminated. So Shatavan. Sat, sat, this was this one person, Shatta Danva, he got inspired by other people and they convinced him that he should steal the Shamantaka jewel. 
แล้วก็หลังจากที่ได้รับแรงบันดาลใจจากสมาชิกผู้ร่วมกันวางแผนนี้เนี่ยคืนหนึ่งเนี่ยสัตตาวันชาเมื่อเช้าชาดันวาเนี่ยเขาเนี่ยได้ได้คิดแผนการว่าจะต้องขโมยตอนที่สัตตาจิตเนี่ยหลับอยู่ So it happened one night Shatta Danva entered into the house of Shatrajit, and he killed him. He killed Shatrajit while he was asleep. The thing that happened was that one night, Shatta Shatta Danva entered the house of Shatrajit and killed him while he was asleep. So this Shatta Danva was a very sinful man, very bad character. And he killed Satrajit while Satrajit was sleeping at home. And when that that Satrajit he came into the house that. Satta Danva, Satta Danva came into Satrajit's house. All the women there, they all cried loudly because they were they knew this man's a demon. But even though they cried. But still, they couldn't protect Satrajit, and Shatta Danva came and killed Satrajit. He killed in very cruel manner, just like a butcher kills the animal in the slaughterhouse. So at that time, Lord Krishna was not at home. His wife Satchabama was alone. Such a the, the his wife Satchabama was present. When Satrajit was murdered, uh, uh, got murdered, and then Satchabama was very upset, and she cried. And she prayed. She called. She called her, my father, or oh, my dear father. You have been killed without any mercy. They didn't take it to the crematorium right away. Sajja Bama wanted to go to Krishna in Hastinapur first and tell him. So Satrajit's body was put into a big tank of oil. And then, when Krishna come would come there, he would see the dead body of Satrajit. And he would take action. He would do something to punish the people. So Satya Bama immediately went to Hastinapur to tell Krishna about the death of her father. Satya Bama ก็เริ่มออกเดินทางไปที่ฮัสตินาปูเพื่อที่จะแจ้งให้กฤษณาทราบเกี่ยวกับความตายอันน่ากลัวของพระบิดา So when Krishna was told by Satya Bama how her father had been murdered, then he he Krishna became like a common man and he began to lament and feel so bad. 
แต่หลังจากที่สัตยบามาเนี่ยเล่าให้กฤษณาฟังเกี่ยวกับการตายของพระบิดาเนี่ยกฤษณาก็ทรงแสดงความเสียใจเหมือนกับเป็นมนุษย์ปุรุษชนธรรมดา Krishna began to lament just like an ordinary man. <laughs> Lord Krishna was just playing the part like a human being. He had nothing to do with the reactions or the actions. Then Krishna had to play the part. เป็นเหมือนกับมนุษย์ธรรมดาอาจารย์พระองค์ทรงไม่มีส่วนได้หรือส่วนเสียอะไรกับทางโลกนี้ So Krishna was playing just like a human being and he showed sympathy for the suffering of the the daughter of the dead man Satyabama was the daughter and the father was Satrajit so Krishna felt very bad for them แล้วกฤษณาก็ทรงแสดงความเสียใจให้กับลูกสาวของสัตเจติตเมื่อลูกสาวสูญเสียพ่อไปเนี่ยสัตเจบามาก็จะรู้สึกโศกเศร้าเป็นเรื่อง So at that time when Lord Krishna heard about the the sorrow of such a Bama how such a Bama his wife was so was so upset and crying then Krishna also felt very bad แล้วกิชาเนี่ยก็รู้สึกแย่มากกับสถานการณ์ที่เกิดขึ้นนี้ก็รู้สึกรู้สึกถึงความทุกข์และความโศกเศร้าของภรรยาของตน And and that's why in the Krishna book you see it says uh, oh Bhishma Dev is speaking oh what unhappy incidents have taken place then Krishna and Balaram, along with Satya Bama, immediately went to Dwarka. Actually, this person, Shatta Danva, that he was a great outlaw in the city. It means he he didn't follow the law. Mm-hmm. So when Krishna came back to Dwarka, uh, he began to make plans to kill this s h a t a d a n v a and take back the jewel. When Krishna n e o e s w a n e to s a n g h a n s h a t a d a n v a and t o k e back the j e l So this s h a t a d a n v a was he was very afraid of Krishna's power. And when Krishna came there, then he became really afraid. And he knew Krishna's plan was to kill him. So this demon, he he got. Away from the the where you do buying and selling with the paper, where you do the stock market, he went away into a private place somewhere. And when Krishna, when Krishna arrived, then that shut the. Danva became very afraid. He could understand Krishna was planning to he'd come there to kill the s h a t a Danva. So that's why 
this uh, that's why this uh, this um, team, this uh, devotee uh, Uh, so Krishna wanted to to kill uh, Krishna wanted to kill this. Uh, he wanted to kill Shatta Dhanva and get back the jewel. So Shatta Dhanva immediately he was afraid of Krishna. And he went to Krita Varma and he asked Krita Varma to protect him. But Krita Varma told the Shatta Dhanva, he said, No, no, he said, I'm not able to offend Lord Krishna and Balaram. They are not ordinary persons. They are the supreme God, the personalities of Godhead. And Krita Varma said, if anybody offends Krishna and Balaram, then nobody can save them from death. Mm. So Krita Varma said that Kamsa was very powerful and he had many demon friends who were helping him. But, but he could not be saved from Krishna's anger. So Krita Varma said, said, nobody can be saved. If Krishna and Balaram are angry at you, nobody can save you. And even, he said, even demons like Kamsa, although Kamsa is very powerful and he has many demon friends, but they cannot protect you from Krishna's anger. And there's another person named Jara Sanda, who has never been defeated by the devotees in his care. And Jara Sanda, he had been defeated by Krishna 17 times. And every time Krishna beat him, he had to return to the, he had to go home very disappointed and very ashamed. So when Shatta Danva was not given any help by Krita Varma, then he went to Akrura and asked Akrura for help. 
หลังจากหลังจากที่ชาชาดันว่าไม่ได้รับความช่วยเหลือจากกิรทาวารมาเขาก็ได้เดินทางไปหาอักูระเพื่อขอความช่วยเหลือบันดาครูอัลสุสัดคริสนาและบาลารามอาร์เดอร์เดอร์เดอร์สุปรีมและนับดีแอนนี่บดีที่รู้สึกถึงสูงขนาดของเขาคุณไม่สามารถแย่งชิงหรือแข่งขันกับเขาได้แต่ว่าครูร่างเนี่ยก็บอกเหมือนกันก็ปฏิเสธการช่วยเหลือเหมือนกันก็ก็บอกว่าไม่มีใครเนี่ยจะต่อสู้กับคริสนาและบาลารามได้เพราะพวกท่านเนี่ยมีพลังอันไร้คิดจับกัน And Krishna and Balaram are so powerful that just by just by their willing, they create and maintain and destroy the whole universe. So people who are affected by the material energy, they cannot understand the strength of Krishna. Although the whole cosmic manifestation. Is fully under Krishna's control. They cannot understand the power of Krishna. And Krishna, when he was only seven years old, he had picked up the Govardhan Hill. Yeah, he picked up the hill and held it up in his for seven days, just like a child carries a little mushroom umbrella. So Akrura, he told Satya Das, he told Sata Sata Danva that he would offer his most respectful obeisances to Krishna, who is the super soul of everyone. But, but Akrura, Akrura was not allowed to give them shelter. Sata Danva. He de he decided to give the jewel, and to he gave it to Akrura. So he gave the jewel. Shatta Danva gave the jewel back to Satrajit, and then he ran away. He got on a horse, the fastest horse, which could run it, and he and he went running to a place four hundred miles an hour away. So Krishna and Balaram felt very sorry to see the Shatta Danva run away. 
แล้วพอประชาราบาราเนี่ยได้รับข่าวนี้เนี่ยก็ได้รับข่าวของการลบหนีไปของสัจจดันว่ะ So they got their own chariot and they followed. So on the chariot of Satadanva, well, on the chariot of Krishna, there's a picture of Garuda. And they chased after that Shatta Danva, and Krishna was really angry with him. He knew this Shatta Danva had killed his father-in-law, Shatrajit. So, so Sat, Sat, Satrajit, he was a good man, and he wanted to do politics. He wanted to help the devotees organize the politics. Satrajit, So it, in the scriptures, it said that one who is the, if one if one is if one goes against the superior, then he will get punished. Now this Shatta Danva, he had killed his father, his father-in-law. So Krishna was determined to get revenge and to kill this Shatta Danva. So we'll stop here today. We can go on. We'll go on another day next week. Are there any questions? I will come to Yes, Gurmaraj, two questions. Three questions we got. Three? Yes. Okay. Uh, this one first. Which one? I don't know. Uh, drop, drop a thing. Devita Guru Mani. Uh, is she Chinese? Yeah, Guru Mani is Chinese. What's the question from Draupadi? She is not there, I think. I asked her to unmute. She is not unmute. Who? Okay, we can take the next one first. We can come back to her later. Okay. You uh, what is Sachi Mataji also got a question. Uh, Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. Uh, what should this story of uh, Shyamantaka Ju uh, teach us? Because um, it, uh, 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 I also thought uh, this story um, looks like uh, a modern detective and uh, Dvaraka's inhabitants, they are um, not uh, behaving like devotees, I think. 
and uh, thus this story seems a little strange. So this this story will teach us that a lot of wealth is not necessary and it brings a lot of trouble. Yeah, in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna said, Bogaiswarya prasaksanam taya parata chetasam vaya vasayat mikal buddhi sramadona vidyate. That people who are attached to material opulence and sense gratification and who are bewildered by it, then they will not be able to be a good devotee. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, then our pranam, please accept my humble obsessions of Bori to Sila Prabhupad. Um, so today I need to discuss question about my mom, Guru Maharaj. Um, because um, about old lady problem, because um, I feel like she never to satisfy about everything in her life. Um, so uh, about reason as she practice in Krishna consciousness because, because me, she don't need me to leave her alone, something like that. And sometimes I bring her to the temple to join um, the program as so an association with your devotee. And sometimes she complain about some things in the temple. And um, like it seems like she never to satisfy and did some offense. So I don't know how should I do Guru Maharaj. <laughs> Yes, well, what can I say? It's not easy to keep older, older people happy. They're more difficult. Your mother is uh, sensitive, difficult for her to be with a lot of other people, she, strange people she doesn't know. Mm, yes, I understand. But... Mm, I start to, to to bring her to the temple um maybe two years ago. Uh -huh. I don't know she love or not, but I need I need she um, to join the program. Just little kitan and to prasadam. Um, everything I I try I try to to get Krishna in in her mind, something like that. And I spend many my tolerance with her. And now I feel terrible, Guru Maharaj. I don't know how should I do. Well, you have to keep trying, be tolerant. Um, and how about if, if she offends, um, what happened with her, Guru Maharaj? Who would she offend? Um, because sometimes she just complain about like my spiritual brother and my spiritual sister, something like that. Because she complain even me, Guru Maharaj. Can you understand? She complain everybody. Well, what she, what can you do? Can you leave her at home? Ah. Uh, I don't know because when when I said if you don't like to to go with me maybe you you can stay at home something like that and she cursed me she cursed me like uh, I will got some food to leave her something like that she cursed you what 
อืมบิ๊กส์เอ่ออาเจนะมันก็เขาวาดที่แรงๆอ่ะเขาสาบเขาเรียกว่าอะไรเนี่ยเออไปอ่ะคุณมหาราฟ So if she don't take her to the temple, then the mother will curse her. Like you're not a good daughter. You get the sinful activity out of this, something like that. Well, what can you do? Well, you have to you have to bring her then. Uh, today I I'm not feeling good, and I don't I don't need. I don't need she to to go to the temple, but I don't know when I go alone. Um, what to happen? At that because I I I plan to join for the Purnima at b a n k a k Guru Maharaj. Uh, it's normally for me to join the program. Uh mm-hmm. huh. But I don't know how should I do. Um, because I I will be sure to her about to let. She has Krishna consciousness. I try because it's um, she is old, so, but so, I don't know. I thought in my mind about maybe she don't like to be w a i s h n a v Does she chant when she goes to the temple? She chant because she see the people chant, then she chant. Okay. Does she eat prasadam? Yes, she took prasadam, but sometimes she complains it's, it's not um, delicious, something like that. <laughs> not delicious. Yes, because she like she like about Chinese s u b j i she like about Thai food, something. Mm. Well, anyway. I think you have to tolerate. I think just take her anyway, even if she's not, if she c o m p l a i n doesn't matter. She gets. Yes, I t o l e always. She gets benefit by going. Yes, I, 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 I need you to get benefit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I'm, um, I'm trying to, to talk to her about Krishna consciousness every day. About Krishna, about b a l a r a m about Krishna pastime, but sometimes she understands, sometimes sometimes she don't. Yeah, but that's sometimes it's I'm okay. Not. Don't worry about it. But you, but I feel not good. Like sometimes she like like she offends. Maharaj, no, can you understand? Because she's going there, she's going to temple. She gets benefit. She, her offense is not intentional. She's an old lady. People can tolerate. Don't worry about it. Okay. Okay. Otherwise, if you don't take her, then it's not good. She gets angry and she curses you. That's not good. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. I don't want. I try. I don't want her to curse you and to get angry. So just take her. Mm-hmm. I will ask her again about she enjoy to to go to temple or not. Yeah. I will ask her again. Yeah. If she don't, I will let you let let her stay at home. Okay. Okay, Guru Maharaj. Thank you. Please bless me. Yeah, blessings. Thank you, Guru Maharaj, for your mercy. I hope she will be better soon with your mercy. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yes. Who has a question? Hmm. Where shall we, Madaji? Please go ahead. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Please accept my humble obeisance. All glory to Sri Lal Prabhupad. Um, I was a uh, bit uh, shocked by this uh, Akrura. He was cursed by the inhabitants of Vrindavana, and because of this, he has to join the conspiracy declared by the sinful men. Uh, so I was wondering the, if it, uh, sometimes we also do unintentional uh, offenses to devotees. 
uh, one time i was in a temple and i was helping one master ji somehow i ended up uh, finding another one other another master ji so i was thinking the uh, whether all this uh, offenses uh, will uh, uh, um, will have a great effect like this guru maharaj and um, yeah uh, yeah yes guru maharaj <laughs> Well, I think I don't think you have to worry too much about it. I think you have to just go to temple and just chant and take part in the program. มาตะเกก็บอกว่าเอ่อกุมาก็บอกมันเยอะก็บอกว่าอ๋อรู้สึกกลัวนิดนึงหลังจากที่ได้เห็นของเอ่อตอนที่อกุระเนี่ยโด
And so the attracts thieves, and then the thieves took everything, took the jewel because it was producing a lot of gold every day. So they want this Shat Danva, he wanted the jewel. So he stole it. He killed Satrajit. But then he saw his life is in danger. Now Krishna is going to kill him. <laughs> It's a real intrigue, isn't it? It's a, a real, <laughs> it's a crime story, like a detective story. <laughs> who did it and who's got the jewel and who's responsible? But you could say also, Akrura, Akrura got involved because Akrura was the one who had really taken Krishna away from Vrindavan. So gopis had cursed him, so he got involved with it wasn't good. But Akrur is a great devotee. So it said, great devotees, even they make some offence, they don't fall down, Krishna will protect them. Krishna takes care to rectify them, to correct them. Mm -hmm. มันนี่ก็ถามคําถามก็สรุปคําถามนะคะก็ถามว่าแล้วทําไมแบบว่าเอ่อคุณพ่อเนี่ยต้องเดินสังหารแบบนั้นด้วยเพราะว่าสตร
I'm going after my work, then I will go to Bangkok in the evening. Straight from work? Yes. Okay. So, um, uh, Sumad, uh, Surangi, Surangi and uh, Vishnu Bhakti went back to Delhi today. Ah, uh, yes, yes. I met, they met you. Yeah, they yes, met me yes. this morning. <laughs> I met yes. them. We had a talk um, for some time. <laughs> yes, John. Very interesting. <laughs> Okay, yeah. so I'll see you tomorrow night. Yes, no. Take care. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank all the devotees. Hare Krishna. Ming Tian Jian. Bhagan Prungni. Hare Krishna. <laughs>